Okay, this will be, we'll see how we can make this one look interesting. I wonder if we're going to make it text. No, I think we're going to keep it there. We don't want it too bold. We want to have some shadings of grey and whatever. So let's see how big we're going to make this. We're going to keep it at 100, stuff it. Now this one's going to be a challenging one. See if we can get some really good colours. We're going to add a background colour. And I think it's basically yellow and mostly yellow and cyan or blue. So we're just going to add another process colour to finish and make it look nice or nicer. I don't know how we're going to make this look really good, but anyway. I'm going to lighten it up so that'll capture some of the grey scale. If we're lightening it right up. Hopefully the um, background colour will will go in or come into play in the white areas to make it look a bit more colourful, a bit more complete in my mind. So we're just going to leave leave the black. All right, what do we got? We actually tore this off a, off a magazine and we've had it sitting there for months. And this is basically an ad for the Beeline bus. So here we go, just showing how Beeline it goes to Mona Vale, stops from Mona Vale to Wynyard. And I've got a feeling of when I go to my dad's place, I'm probably going to catch... This is probably what we have to catch. We have to catch this to go to my dad's place. Uh, so hopefully it'll it'll be a nice trip. I'd like to be on the top left front window. So I'd like to be on the top de decker window and on the left so I can get a view from both the left side and, the, and straight onto the street. I haven't been on a double decker, probably not. Oh, yeah, they had double deckers when you had buses going to Brisbane and place or cans but I don't think they use them anymore but they had double decker buses they were really nice coaches they were coaches actually they're referred to as coaches even though fundamentally they're a bus so you can see we've got the lovely uh, magenta so I think that's an interesting image that picture looks funny you, you wouldn't recognize it but anyway so I think that's that's going to be our so this is it beeline so we're just going to put it on our recycle pile and we're going to we're going to enhance we're going to make this into a four-way mirror image. So this is really quite interesting. I've never ridden on a, but I've never ridden on a suburban double decker. They didn't have them for a very long time, and now they're just bringing them at, bringing them back on mass. There's like heaps of them now, heaps of services that are now running double deckers. I'm sure a lot of bus enthusiasts and transport enthusiasts would be absolutely absolutely pleased to see double-decker buses running on our streets <laughs> they just love it they just watch buses they they you know like train spotters they like train spotters uh but that's it they, they, they love doing it and it gives them a sense it's cheap they don't all of these people are not rich these people who who watch transport who like to observe buses and the model numbers and all that sort of shit well it's a cheap hobby it's a hobby that costs virtually nothing except if you have to tra travel to certain areas to see your favorite services in action but but it's basically it's a cheap an uh, activity you just sit there and watch watch the buses go by and observe the route numbers and the and the models and the brand the makes of buses yes there are people out there and they uh, it gives them a sense of achievement or maybe it's just interesting to watch to observe the different buses and shit and it's it's a good cheap hobby so anyway enough about that we're just going to concentrate on this this looks really good and you see the magenta has come up better so we're now just going to print this off okay Okay, here's another one. Yeah, that looks quite good. This has turned up better than I thought. I'm glad I left this left this one up until now because at least I've worked out how, how to make this one look really good. 
Right, I'm just going to print off two mirror images of this. But yeah, it's nice to see, nice to see double deckers coming back. I do, one thing I do miss is the um, service that takes you from Mona Vale, or should I say Palm Beach, to to um, Central, all the way to Central from Palm Beach. It's a really nice journey, and it's it's been taken away because they're they're building. Um, light rail throughout most of the city and the buses can't get through so they're gonna they just change things around heaps and the b-line seems to be replacing almost almost all of the uh routes say to mona vale because i've been to my i used to live in mona vale with my father uh he kicked me out of his house we just didn't get on very well sadly so yeah, I'm just living here now, and we used to, and that. So therefore, I'm familiar with the route, and we used to. I used to enjoy. I'm not a transit transit person as such. I like transit because it's nice to travel on it, but I'm not. I'm not a train spotter. So sorry if I'm disappointing you guys. If, if you think I'm train spotter or transport spotter, I still appreciate the scenery and and the relaxing feeling you get. You just sit on there and you spend an hour or so on it. You're riding from Mona Vale to City Central, but they don't have that anymore. But anyway, that looks really interesting. Got to go.